Alright Austin, today we're going to learn how to make chili. Erica found this on the clearance rack, so that's a good sign. Uh, she said even an idiot like you could probably make this. The instructions are right on the bottle. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and, and, and do that. Two, two pounds of, of beef. Put it in the biggest pot that you possess. Because the larger the pot, the better the chili. That's just science. Also, wash the knife that you just stabbed open everything with because now it probably has diseases on it. Two tablespoons-ish of oil. Mm. 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 That seems fine. We're gonna dice one onion and three jalapeno peppers. It says one pepper on the bottle. Uh, that's not very clear. So we're gonna use three and we're gonna make sure that they're spicy. It's really easy to do this. I learned this on the You Suck It cooking channel. You just, you just give it a good And just like that, it's all nice and diced. Uh, in hindsight, that seems like a fuck ton of onions. Do uh, the same thing for your jalapenos. Also, don't forget to wash them because they come from Mexico and, and sometimes they have poop on them. Ow! Also, wear safety goggles for this crap. Ah, oh, burns so bad. Flush the hell out of your eyes and then put on safety goggles. Oh man, that shit burns. Okay, show must go on. Why do people cook? As with most, most things in life, more whiskey to dull the pain. So I looked up online and apparently you're supposed to remove the seeds if you want it to be mild. But we don't want it to be mild so we're just going to leave all the seeds in. Uh, oh yeah, we were supposed to turn this on or something. So we're just going to turn it to high. And then we want this to brown. Uh, turn on the vent fan because it's smoking like crazy and I don't really understand why. Pray to the gods that your smoke alarm doesn't go off because that thing's loud as hell. Alright, I, re I reduced it down to, to five, the half of high, because it's kind of scared me and there's a lot of activity going on. Keep keep your meat on its toes, just keep uh, just keep moving it around, uh, gotta stay loose. And if you ever get stressed out, whiskey. Okay, now it's kind of almost looking boring, so we're gonna we're gonna kick it up to seven now. Okay, we're starting to look pretty brown, so it's time to throw all of our ingredients in. All right, looks beautiful. Uh, stir it, stir it all in there. At this point, I would I would probably add in just a, a little little pinch of salt, just because that's what every good chef. What is the point? It's rock. Okay, well, okay, never mind. For, forget it. No, no salt. I guess we'll we'll make do without. So continue to stir until it feels or it smells kind of aromatic. You can start smelling the onion and the jalapeno, and then it's going to be time to dump in our sauce. Okay, it smells like a regret. So we're going to go ahead and, and dump in our our sauce here. Just all of it. For some reason it says refrigerate after opening, so we're just going to go ahead and pop this back in the fridge. Uh, empty, I guess. Alright, that's looking great. So now we're going to turn it down to a simmer, which is usually around a 3 and a 4 for me. Put a, put a lid on it, really, really lock in that flavor. Set the timer for 20 minutes. Uh, and then forget about it so you burn the hell out of it. Drink your whiskey. Pour yourself some more whiskey. Shit. We're, we're out of whiskey. <sighs> Any good drinker has a backup whiskey spot. Now, some people like to, to utilize inside hiding spots for their whiskey. Uh, I like to utilize outside spots for my whiskey.
trash, not booze. So if anyone ever does accidentally happen upon your secret booze stash, they just say, oh, it's trash and not booze, and then they continue on their way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. God damn it. Fucking neighborhood kids. Okay. Every good whiskey drinker has a second backup emergency whiskey stash. Now, this is a really, a really common one, I think, but, you know, I mean, whoever checks back here other than the men in the house. Um, so it's a pretty good spot to, to stash your booze. Uh, let's just get rid of that. Um, the tilapia we made the other day uh, also gave us a perfect waterproof seal for our booze. So now all you gotta do is just open it up, grab that bad boy out of there. <laughs> that Erica, she's such a joker. Let's just get rid of that. Those are problems for tomorrow. And we're good. We got our, our, our perfect backup bourbon. Now uh, reward yourself because making dinner is really hard uh, and not a lot of people can do it. So we've managed to make chili, I think. Uh, so, cheers. Shit, so I almost forgot. While, you're, while your chili is simmering, you have to play rap music. Otherwise your chili just won't turn out the same. Check on your chili. Ooh, it's looking good. Okay, we're gonna deal with this problem. Pour all your, your, your solid chunk of salt into a bowl. I don't know how this happens. I'm in California. There should be no moisture at all anywhere, and yet we suddenly have a solid chunk of salt. I think I think this thing is supposed to be for like mashed potatoes or something, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a give it a try for our salt. Okay, Jesus Christ, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Well known fact, um, tools that you'd normally use around the house can actually be used for cooking as well. Today we're going to be using a hammer. D don't be an animal, uh, make sure that you wash your hammer first before using it. Break apart all these, these big pieces. Probably going to get salt fucking everywhere, but it's a small price to pay. There you go, just mash it up. Get all these big pieces out of the way. And if you're like me and occasionally go to the gym, this is gonna be your buddy in this scenario. Grab your shaker bottle. Grab a piece of paper, use it as a funnel. Shake the shit out of it, uh, and then you should get some nice smooth salt. You might have to do this a couple times since there's a lot of salt. After doing this a couple times, all your salt should be perfectly smooth and ready to be reused. <sighs> or you just spend 99 cents and just buy another fucking thing of salt. Whew. Good as new. Drink some whiskey, you've earned it. All right, perfect timing after fixing our salt issue. We're, uh, we're done. Let's take a let's take a look at what we've created. Oh, give that a give that a playful stir. All right, let's taste it and see if we've created garbage. Okay, we don't actually have the spoon that's not a spoon, so we're gonna use a real ladle or whatever the hell this is called. delicious. Make sure to uh, light, lightly garnish with uh, some bourbon. There you go. Just, just, just for taste. We don't need to get crazy with it. We don't have a, we don't have an alcohol problem. Okay, let's give it a shot.
Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty spicy. I think we uh, we made the right choice with uh, three jalapenos rather than just one. Anyway, uh, this will also sustain you, and it was super easy to make despite all the tangential stuff getting in the way, which is really the only thing that gets in the way of cooking is real life. All for now.